the first place in the office building division. And the first place winner created a net zero building with historical context, told an exceptional story of how their project used an existing building site and crafted a well-integrated, beautiful design that embodied the local culture. Join me in congratulating Nyongji University all the way from Seoul, Korea. Yangji University, please come to the stage. We are a team from College of Architecture, Myeongji University, South Korea, and we are presenting hybrid Hanok for Business Incubator Center. Hanok is the Korean traditional architecture. It has a long history since 14th century. Hanok has its own structure, spatial, constructional, uniqueness made of Korean timber structures. Um, the government, Korean government forces all buildings, including Hanok, to prove zero energy performance by 2030. However, Hanok encounters critical weakness of energy performance by, um, to meet the requirements of zero energy building. Our site is close to Sajik Shiren, which is a historical site. And the site strategies are how to link the past and the present by um, physical boundary between the site and surrounding context. So our team um, aims diverse of spatial functions expanding from private share office to urban public spaces to make boundaryless sites. We found out the increasing trends of share office um, location due to in a change in the industrial ecosystem. We make it a vision business incubator center using hybrid tunnel, which advanced the traditional Korean architecture style to survive in the Korean uh, survive in the carbon neutral society. We propose a partial retrofitting of the existing reinforced concrete community center built in 1970. Our design goals are described five strategies, how to blend the past and the present, incubating startup businesses, and how to, sorry, and how to make boundaryless community and how to spread modular hybrid tunnel to other areas. First floor mainly makes up the art room for a public sitting area, retails, community center, as the existing administrative service space, office, and Yangcheong Dai School site for visitors, and several urban open spaces for social interactions. As for the second floor, it has several shared offices for small size startup spaces and a larger version of a collaborative business incubator. Individual spaces are connected through the open terraces. As a result, historical site Anyangcheong is open to the public. The proposed hybrid tunnel is designed to adapt to diverse climate conditions during the intermediate seasons. It makes use of natural ventilation, daylighting, water collection from eaves, openings, outdoor spaces, double skin facades, and porous pavings. 
It also has environmental resilience, eco-friendly flame retardant timber, and seismic resilient structure systems are applied to columns and rope ceramic tiles for occupancy safety, despite the growing frequencies of earthquakes in South Korea. E-simulated integrated A-shaped column and C-sib, which is composite structure insulation panel walls. The proposed envelope design resulted in higher bending performance by 21% and better thermal performance. The modular design of structural components, joint envelope materials is the key for improved constructability and marketability. Mobilization of hybrid HANO is the vital requirement for zero energy HANO. These modular CLT and GLT materials for columns, beams, roof, and wall are supplied from local manufacturers that minimize the emission of CO2. Based on a study, timber structure and local supply can reduce CO2 emission by about 25% and 13% respectively. The proposed hybrid Hanok is applied with integrated MEP systems, geothermal heat pumps, and heat exchangers for heating, cooling, and hot water. UFAD systems and window ventilation systems are used to minimize the exposure of air ducts and electrical cables. The air cavity with 6 mm single pane and 24 mm double pane glass of double skin facade improves the stack effect and thermal buffer depending on outdoor weather conditions. The PB integrated vertical louvers track sun positions for maximum solar energy generation. Our walls use honeycomb glass to have lighting performance while blocking external noise. The wall to width CSIP 200 mm is applied has sound insul applied head insulation performance of 0.118 watts per square meter Kelvin and is also configured to cope with various external environments such as air tightness against external bedding and sound insulation against external noise. The envelope performance of hybrid HANOP office is advanced by 200 millimeter thick continuous composite SIP to meet 0.1 watts per square meter Kelvin. The double layered thermal brake blocks heat flows from terrace to slab and between a roof and cross beams. Our team proposes real time IQ control using IQ sensors and IQ visualization. Building occupants can access IQ data, predicted mean vote, and air quality index collected and visualized on the dashboard. An excessive amount of daylight in the atrium might cause visual discomfort, so single axis solar tracking vertical louvers control the adequate amount of daylight and direct radiation. Besides, underlit area of shared offices provide more daylight with solar collectors. Considering occupants, comfort, and MEP systems, um, underfloor air distribution system resulted in a stable temperature and low CO2 in PPM in the comfort zone compared to the OHAD systems. BIPBs and BAPBs on the available ambulance generate about a total of 92 kilowatt hour per square meter to make it net zero Hanuk. Besides, geothermal system can generate additional 41 kilowatt hour per square meter for heating, cooling, and hot water uses. This hybrid Hanuk achieve a site UI 127 kilowatt hour. 9 kilowatt hour per square meter and a source EOI 187 kilowatt hour per square meter without renewable energies. Applied 41 kilowatt hour per square meter of geothermal energy and 92 kilowatt hour per square meter of solar energy can make minus 4 kilowatt hour per square meter for final energy flow. The proposed hybrid HANO applied with high performing passive active and energy monitoring system is expected to increase the construction cost by 30 to 35 percent to compare to the existing traditional HANO. The hybrid HANO would be estimated about $4,500 per square meter. However, modular design and construction are expected to cut down the cost by 20 percent. Additional construction cost reduction will be from energy saving and governmental subsidies by 25% and maximum. The proposed hybrid Hanok aims integrated building performance and to balance the requirements of zero energy performance and Korean architecture styles. All state of art technologies and designs are integrated for this incubator business center. 
blending the past and the present in systems and design, incubating startup businesses, fading outside boundaries for social interactions, spreading hybrid tunnel with traditional Korean architecture styles. These are our vision and design goals. Thank you for your listening. Another great presentation and 10 seconds to spare. <laughs>